Hallo, goeiedag, Molweni. I'm Ibrahim Rasul, ambassador of South Africa in the United States of America. Now that it's officially known that we are 83,000 South African citizens in the United States of America, I want to say that our biggest challenge for 2013 is how to harness this energy, this resource, this wealth of talent for the good of the African continent and the South African nation. Those are the things that we'd like in 2013 to discuss with each one of you. I have enjoyed tremendously all the interactions, the warm receptions, the great welcomes and the genuine interest in the well-being of our country and its people. And I want to say that we want to intensify this, but this time with a purpose. South Africa needs every one of the people who owe allegiance to it. There's no time for us to be haunted by the past or worried about the future. This is the time for us to help our country. Every time there's a scream for help from our country, whether on the Marikana mines or whether in the service delivery protests or whether simply in the unemployment figures, it's a cry to us as well. And as ambassador, I must see how we can use this tremendously influential resource that is in the United States to ensure that investment comes our way, that trade comes our way, that scholarships come our way, and that assistance, whether philanthropic or whether in social forms, must reach our country. But for now we are on the cusp of the holiday season. Many will be celebrating Christmas, everyone will be celebrating New Year's Day, and we'll genuinely just try to get some South African spirit in the cold of the United States or in the foreign climate that we know all over this country. I want to say that our holiday season has already started with a big bang. The Springboks have just come from a victorious tour of the United Kingdom and Ireland. The South African Proteas have just destroyed Australia in the cricket match. And what that says is, it's great to be South African. And therefore, you, as members of Global South Africans, must understand that we may have left our shores, but we have not left our hearts behind, that we are here with that. Nelson Mandela has made his last wish known. He wants us to contribute to the Nelson Mandela Children's Hospital. This is something that will excite Americans and South Africans, but we need to be the first to contribute to making that hospital, which will be an excellent specialist hospital for the children of Africa located in Johannesburg, will make health for them a reality for the first time in their lives. I want to say to you, let us work together on this, especially as we move towards the unveiling of Nelson Mandela's statue outside our newly renovated embassy on Massachusetts Avenue in Washington, D.C. I want to say to you that we have had a resounding success in what we called South Africa 2012. We used this to reflect on our past, to check up on how our reconciliation is holding, to understand what the challenges are, and to analyze what we can do to meet those challenges as we go forward. I want to say to you that we have engaged the United States in debates, we have displayed to them the best of our artworks. We have brought some great musicians over from the Kersney Boys Choir to Yuma Sakela to thrill Americans with the talent of music that comes from South Africa. We have also opened our doors to show the lifestyle, whether it is in the cuisine, the wine, the culture, the fashion, and everything that is South African. And we have been able to win the hearts of many Americans across the United States of America. I want to say to you that we can only build on this. And you have an important role to play. Your children must nurture the memory of South Africa. And they must grow up always with one foot firmly on the African continent. We can help with that. We can hold each other's hands. And we can use this holiday period to reflect on the great values that we have engendered through hardships and recently through greater ease. But we must give that, not only to our children, but give that to every citizen we come in contact with. 
It is that unique thing that we have called Ubuntu that can transform the world. The world has never been so much in need of the things that have made us successful and you can play a role. And only people who are free, who are guilt-free, people who have talent and people who have the will to move forward as South Africans have proven to be, only we can make that breakthrough in the world. So happy holidays, but as we would say in South Africa without any reservation, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.